got this feeling inside my bones It goes electric wavy when I turn it on All through my city, all through my home We're flying up no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that It's Darcy here and today I'm going to show you how to make some New South Wales emergency service uniforms in Minecraft. Now you, these uniforms are meant to be used if you want to have well, Australian emergency services in your, well New South Wales emergency services in your game. I personally know because, fun fact for you, I do live in New South Wales. But um, let's just get into the video. So today we'll be doing a New South Wales Police General Officer, a New South Wales Firefighter, a Paramedic, a Lifeguard and an SES. SES stands for State Emergency Service in Australia and they kind of like a second fire brigade except they will help you. And please note I will not be making any volunteer uniforms in this video. So. Comment down below if we get three comments saying, can you please make a vol some volunteer uniforms? I will. Please note that the state emergency service, state emergency service uniform and lifeguards are probably the only two that I have volunteer. So let's get started on the police and the police force. So I'm just gonna craft in a uniform actually first I need to get some uh, black ink set for the shoes because if I come in Australia emergency services will wear black shoes I'll so just do that now I'm gonna do dark blue pants here And then another one for the helmet. And I'll show you what it looks like here. No, not too bad. I'm gonna put it oh I'm gonna put it on here. This mannequin. The the um cap is meant to be a helmet for the officer. Yep, and hang on. That's what it looks like. Not very bad. Now, if I did have um, access to mods, I would um, probably like use some other mods or even make my own mod. But unfortunately, I can't have mods on here. Otherwise, I would have to go to a version, and most of the stuff in some city would be gone, such as the truck there. Next, we'll do the New South Wales Fire Brigade. And you can either do the helmet two ways. You can either give it the firefighter a red one or a yellow helmet. But since I'm going to make this a general duties firefighter, I'm going to give the firefighter a helmet. Like that. Right now I need to keep those in there. Well, yeah, she's already done. So then you'll do that. That for the uniform, five gay uniform, and then you're done. Now it might freak out a little at first saying where the shoes. But we send us the police. Same for the paramedics and SES. And let me just put this stuff away. And that's what it looks like on the mannequin. Quite cool. Now I recommend this <clears throat> these for um if you're doing jobs or you're putting or you're simulating putting clothes on but I do really recommend you um use the Minecraft skin app to make some custom skins. I recommend that. Um, I realize I'll just need some white. Um I actually um let me just put these 
defect will work. Ah, it does. Okay, now we're on to the New South Wales paramedic uniform. Now, most of these I do know of either because I've seen them out on duty or I've seen them on, on it's on Google. And I wish with like um Captain that there would be kind of like um banners where you could put a real red stripe there and there would be two red stripes there, but unfortunately you can't. And now I am done. Don't want to put this on here. This is what it looks like. And a tip for you if you're using the Pamex uniform, the white helmet is optional. You should only really use the white helmet if you are doing a role play and your paramedics need to go to a car accident. Because um, in New South Wales, paramedics will only wear helm helmets if there is a um, uh, if there is a car accident. Oh, wait, no, wrong one. If there is a car accident. Silly me, you got what I just said. I won't work about I think this is something. Yep. Now oh whoops. Sorry guys, I accidentally hit the phone. Now on to the state emergency service uniform for um, New South Wales. The car of like a second fire brigade and um, Yes, yes, except they help in fires, floods, search and vexies with police. They do, like, a lot. And they, um, if you're strong, you should know they do help, um, support the, if you've seen an NRMA store, um, they should be often a, um, plat orange platypus. Yeah. Alright, no, we don't need that. And now you have your fuff, your SES uniform. Now I was planning about maybe having hospital uniforms, but I decided not to since um, hospital uniforms vary, and I did not put enough things in there. Next, I'm making a lifeguard's uniform. Now, I'm doing them like this. For a reason, since you can't have on like Putting it on the same mount because it'll be a bit more clever. So I'll do this because you know, straight that is how I'll well, New South Wales. That's how the uniforms are. And then on here they go. Yeah, I maybe you should just use yellow on there. And they have the emergency service uniforms on Australia. Well, not, I keep saying try for some reason. For New South Wales. My skin here is not a New South Wales one. It's one my sister Laura made. And it's a little inaccurate since I do wear glasses. But I don't care. So that's what my skin looks like. I forgot how you do it. Yeah, and then there you have it. Now, I wish you could actually, like, put yellow there to make, like, have a badge there, New South Wales Police, but, but a little tip for you, you can, if you want, put dark, a little bit of a mixed light blue and dark blue together to make kind of like the illusion of a police vest. If you want to make a SWAT police officer for New South Wales, I recommend just using black or just googling it. And there you have it. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video on making NSW emergency service uniforms.
and goodbye.